Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by Rand Group. My name is Jamie Setterbo, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a new general ledger account. We are going to navigate to Financial, Lists, Accounts. Here you have a list of all of your accounts. Be sure that the Show an Active checkbox is ticked to make sure that we aren't creating an account that we could just reactivate. Once you are sure the account you want to create isn't in the list, click on New. This will bring you to the account entry form. All the fields you see with an asterisk are mandatory fields, and if you click on the name of any of the fields, you'll get a field help pop-up box that will give you a description of that field. We are going to name our account Repairs. This will be a sub-account or a child account of automobile expense. So because the parent account is an expensive account, the type of account has automatically changed to also be an expense account. Note that once you set the type of account, you cannot change it later. Because this is an expense account, we got a few new options on our account entry form. The general rate type chooses the type of exchange rate that is used for any foreign currency amounts for this account and the income statement, balance sheet, and other general purposes. The cash flow rate type will translate amounts of, for accounts in the cash flow statement. They both have the same three options. There's current, which is based on the rate that is effective at the end of a selected period. Average is calculated from a weighted average of the exchange rates for the transactions during the period that had a general rate type of average. And historical is also a weighted average before the exchange rates for the transactions that had a general rate type of historical. We can also choose to an account that we want to track any billable expenses to the that we could bill to the customer in. Here we can also choose a deferred expense account to record deferred transactions for amortization and depreciation. If we click over here on this summary box, this will make the account record solely for reporting purposes. It will make it a non-posting account and it will be inactive. Here we could mark this account as inactive. You might want to do this if you want to delete account, delete an account but Netflix won't let you because there are activities on that account or they are needed for reporting purposes. If you choose to restrict this account to any department, class, or location, this account will only be able to be selected on transactions where those segments are also selected. You can also limit the use of this account to a single subsidiary or a subset of subsidiaries. You would select the ones you want here, holding down the control button on your keyboard as you click to choose more than one. If you tick the Include Children checkbox, this will include the children of any subsidiaries that you have selected. Because we are creating an expense account, this 1099 miscellaneous category drop-down menu is available. This will allow all your cash basis transactions for a vendor to be reported on in the 1099 form in the box that you choose here. Once you are done, click on Save, and you have just created a new account. Thank you for viewing this video provided by Rand Group. If you have any questions or would like more information on NetSuite, feel free to contact us.